Do you have to wait till 2020 to get a Linux phone and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars? Let me show you my Linux phone and how it works for $60. Coming up next. So this is a one plus one phone, which I bought for $60 and I have a Nexus 5, which is also arriving soon. And I'll be trying that out as well. These are the supported devices on UB ports. And like all other Android alternatives, only a limited set of devices are supported. I'll do another video showing you how I did this. It wasn't easy, but once you figure it out, it's easily repeatable. I've repeated this installation around five times now. And here's a demonstration of Ubuntu Touch from UB Ports.
UB ports is working great on the OnePlus, significantly slower than a Google Pixel or an iPhone, but quite usable. There are many little bugs and I just restart the app or the phone and continue on. No showstopper for me. Known issues are running Netflix or Amazon Prime videos using the base setup. Apparently there's some DRM functionality that has to be added, so I haven't tested that. When the Ubuntu Touch is first installed, by default, everything is locked down. So there's a lot of little things you have to do to allow this to be used by a power Linux user. There are also plans to port this to a Librem 5, so that's good to know. The UX looks well done for mobile. As you can see, most of the necessary apps or web apps are there and it's quite functional. It is an Android device though, so if you turn location on, you will be spotted within six ducking feet. I'll discuss more of the implications of this later on. In the meantime, try out your Linux phone today, not in 2020, and for cheap. And please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching.